that is where the fear lies, is that doing our normal day-to-day -day job puts us at risk that if there's a prosecutor out there who wants to get involved and say that we ended a clinically diagnosable pregnancy, having that law signed and in our Idaho code puts us all at risk. That is Dr. Lauren Miller. She's a maternal fetal medicine expert, one of fewer than 10 we have in the whole entire state. Dr. Miller spoke with us last summer about her concerns with Idaho's abortion laws, mostly because she says the language is vague. Doctors are not sure where the line is between saving a mother's life or committing a felony. This week, Idaho Republicans tried to clear up that confusion with a new bill. But will this bill do that? Dr. Miller says the waters are still muddy. Here's Andrew Bartline. Bills are meant to solve problems. And this week at the State House, Welcome to House State Affairs. That means Representative Megan Blanksma introduced a new bill to clarify Idaho's abortion laws. The bill aims to draw a firm line between a legal abortion and a felony. Yeah. But ask Dr. Lauren Miller. It does not. And her patients need better answers. It is not a job satisfier. This is what I do as a maternal fetal medicine expert, and I can't help my patients in the way that I've been trained to help them. Under Idaho law, a doctor can perform an abortion if, quote, the abortion was necessary to prevent the death of the pregnant woman. The bill does not change this language at all. What are those key factors that you wanted clarified? How close to death do you need to be before you can intervene? Do you need to be exsanguinating on the floor, being coded, septic in the ICU? How close to death before you can act? We shouldn't just be talking about preventing death. That's not what we do as healthcare providers. We maintain the health of our patients. Um, and sometimes, unfortunately, termination of pregnancy is a part of that conversation. It is the way to maintain the woman's health. The bill explicitly lists the removal of a dead unborn child ectopic and molar pregnancies to not be considered abortions. But Dr. Miller says pregnancy complications are more broad than that. A baby whose skull did not form and will no, not have any brain by the time of delivery. That is a 100% lethal diagnosis. And in this state, a woman must carry that pregnancy to term. That's difficult. Mm -hmm. And this is what I do as a maternal fetal medicine specialist. I counsel patients about complicated complications for their babies every day and help them make decisions about what's best for their family. And right now, the only option I can give in a situation like that is traveling out of state, leaving their family, and having to spend money to travel and fly somewhere else. Has that happened? Have you had to have patients where you tell them, here's the state law, here are your options? Yes. And the doctors? Some aren't far behind. We're a really small uh, practice in maternal fetal medicine in the state of Idaho. Um, there's less than 10 of us practicing who are actually within the state, um, and two are already leaving as a direct result of this. And we're already seeing the direct impact. Miller says one of these departures is partially behind Bonner General Health's decision to stop offering women's health services. The North Idaho Hospital made that decision this month and more decisions will have to be made. Do you think you'll ever get to a point to where maybe Idaho's not for you if this continues? It has crossed my mind many times. We will see where the future goes. Because this doctor has a problem. I saying I, and she says I, this I bill just isn't the answer. Motion is carried, will be done. There are portions of the bill Dr. Miller supports. That includes entitling the victim of a rape to receive a copy of their police report within 72 hours of filing that report. And the report is necessary for a doctor to provide a legal abortion for a rape. The bill, Brian, also eliminates the affirmative affirmative defense. I think mm -hmm. I'm getting that language yes. correct, where you're essentially all abortions are bad. You're guilty until proven innocent. Correct. This bill would change that to innocent till proven guilty like any other crime. And I think what we're learning with this and some of the transgender bills that are passing, the chickens are coming home to roost right now. And people are saying doctors, medical experts that we rely on and will rely on are saying, yeah, not for me. We're out of here, which is sad. All right. It's what we've heard too so far in this specific practice. You can only get larger. All right. Thank you, Andrew.